like you always want to fuck like all the time i'm just like can we just have a conversation it was just like obviously a lot of guys want to fuck and a lot of guys think that you know physical touch is their love language when they really only want to fuck but i just feel like when you're a white man and a black woman and you want to have sex that much you can't just ignore the historical context of situations and how black female bodies have been sexualized over centuries with you know the whole jezebel stereotype and Savage Red Recovery, how are you guys doing today? Back with another video. This is a weird... This is a weird video for some reason. I don't understand why. Like, I, the way that she's using this, I don't see it as being what, it, what she thinks it was. And if you're into a kink and that's okay, like she says, then why is this a problem? I think I was interested in talking to somebody outside of my race because if I'm going to be quite honest with you, all of the black guys that I talked to or tried to, you know, pursue a relationship with prior to that had just like let me down and disappointed me. So I felt like maybe if I said outside of my race or my comfort zone, I'll find something different. Granted, I didn't. We're going to get into all the nuances with all of this, but- But you're full of shit because guess what, lady? Said, but no, but really, if you were let down by all these dudes, then what is the common denominator with you and all these guys? Guess what, sweetheart? It's you. I met this white guy on a dating app, and I don't even know where to fucking start. I'm gonna start with the good stuff, and then we're gonna get slowly into the bad stuff. So, relating this back to the tweet that I brought up earlier. With this white guy in particular, I just felt very appreciated. I felt very valued. You know, there was very clear and effective communication. He like knew how to make time for me. And obviously that's like a bare minimum, but with the black guys that I had talked to before, I really didn't experience that to like, you know, the highest degree. So with him, I was just like, wow, this is like a little bit different. He was very affectionate with me and affectionate in ways that like, you know, weren't always sexual, you know, like holding my hand or he was very into PDA and just stuff that I just like wasn't used to. I wasn't used to somebody appreciating me, you know, that openly and honestly that soon. And I don't think that it's always a good thing to be, you know, so affectionate and just like so ready to give so early on. Like I really do feel like it takes time to genuinely know a person. But because this is what I was like, you know, craving and really wanting in a relationship, I just thought that it was a good thing. So that's kind of pretty much where it ends when it comes to just that being a different situation. So let me get this straight. So the guys you dated before, they didn't show you these these things. But when the white dude shows it to you, it's the bare minimum, even though you hadn't got that prior to this. So what you consider the bare minimum out of all your relationships before that, you didn't get. So how exactly is that the bare minimum? And how is it that you say that's a good thing and it was different but then we get over here and you're like, you know what? But that can also be like, you got to make up your mind, lady. Like you're back and forth on stuff. Like maybe the problem is you. Hmm. So the thing that you said about him was a good thing and a bad thing. So now let's get to all the red flags. Let's do it. One thing that I've realized when it comes to interracial dating, specifically as a black woman and dating outside of your race, there tends to be or there are a lot of people that fetishize black women and it is disgusting a non-black guy will see a black woman and completely like, disregard her as a person but because she has the features that he likes because she has the skin tone that he likes because he thinks that she's going to be way better doing this sexually he kind of just like gravitates in that direction not really because he actually has an interest in who she is as a person outside of her identity, but because of what he thinks that she can provide. So let me get this straight. You date one white guy and now you are just a white man whisper. You just know what white men are thinking. What you just described sounds like every man. Every man sees a woman and thinks that she's gonna be great in bed or he hopes that she's great in bed or likes the features that she has. Black men like other women that are black and like different skin tones. They also like different features. Like what you're saying is a gender thing. It's not a race thing. You're trying to make it seem like it's a race thing, but it's not. I can tell you from being a man. I kind of felt like that when I was dating this white guy, but regardless, when I got on the app, I could just kind of tell 
by his pictures, there's different kinds of white guys. Okay, so this guy, like, I don't know how to describe it, but just like the way that certain white guys will cut their hair or stand or pose, like, you can almost kind of tell if they're interested in black girls. And I was just like, you know what, I'll match with this guy and see what happens. So there are different types of white guys, and there's guys that are white that you can tell that like black girls. Is it because maybe they grew up in a black neighborhood and they act and emulate the culture of black people? And the picture you show, the guy kind of looks like he's Spanish, like he kind of looks mixed. Doesn't look necessarily white. He looks like he is like Hispanic and white or like he could be white. It's hard to tell because you can only see his face. But again, you're making a lot of assumptions and you're not like, again, different type of white guys. So if there's different types of white guys and there's guys you can tell that like black chicks and how is it that white, white men like women, black women, because they only like black women because it's a fetish. Granted, he matched back and in my profile, this is off of Hinge. I was wearing a biggie shirt <laughs> in one of my pictures. So he comments, um, I don't even know when it was in the thread of our messages, but he was asking me to wear that shirt again whenever we saw each other. Well, let me get this straight. You have a shirt that he likes, that you like, because obviously it's your, you're wearing it. And it's weird that he asked you to wear the shirt in your profile picture. Could it be that you look good in that picture? Could it be that he likes that artist? Could it be any of these things other than you just being a fetish? Peep some things. So first and foremost, this guy specifically only listened to 90s like hip hop and R&B. Like there was usually nothing else playing and I was just like, okay, this is kind of interesting because I feel like obviously it's a very good genre of music, but if that's like all that you listen to, especially as a white guy, it's like a little bit off. I'm not saying that you can't. Lady, that's racist. If a dude's white and he listens to only 90s music that's rap, or hip hop and R and B, and you feel some kind of way, and then have to say afterwards, when you're white, that's called racism, okay? And then you try to say, well, nothing. There's nothing wrong with it. Well, clearly there's something wrong with it because you're 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 saying it. You're using that as a reason why you were a fetish to him. Maybe he just likes that music. Like, you can't tell people what type of music they can listen to all the time and what they like because. Of their race that, that that's the definition of racism the very first movie that he put on when i got to his apartment was poetic justice and i was just like maybe that's what i should have did maybe that's his favorite movie maybe tupac is his is his favorite rap artist maybe jada Pinkett smith is his favorite female actress like you don't know why he emulates the culture that he emulates maybe he grew up in a black neighborhood i don't know if you know this but white people buy the most rap music that's the reason it's so mainstream a lot of these rappers became wealthy because white people buy the tickets to their shows they buy their merchandise and they buy their their cds so you can't export your culture to white people and then turn around and tell white people that they can't relate emulate or like your culture and say if they do they're being racist or they're fetishizing fetishizing you as a woman <laughs> And this is only over the span of three weeks and I really wasn't in the situation for that long I just ended up ghosting after everything because I don't always bring things up I just be taking mental notes So on another occasion, I brought up the fact that it was time for me to change my hair I, I had braids at the time. I had like these like golden color box braids You might have seen them when I traveling to Fitty Vlog But I was wearing those braids and I brought up the fact that I wanted to get faux locks And he was like, yeah, I don't really like faux locks And I'm like, are you sure that you want to get faux locks? I'm just like yeah, I want to get faux locks. So he was seeing you and you were seeing him. You brought it up that you were changing your hair and then he gave you his opinion on he didn't, how he didn't like them. I don't understand necessarily how that is a problem. I, I, I don't know. And... He told me that he liked my braids because it looked like I had a little bit of ratchet in me. And I think that was the point where I was just like, yeah, it's time to dip. 
it's time to evacuate, it's time to abort. Like I was just honestly and genuinely over it. That so he said that it seemed like you had a little, it made it look like a little bit of ratchet in you. Have you ever heard like uh, Jay-Z say, like, so, like many rappers have said this, not just Jay-Z, but I want a woman in the streets and a freak in the sheets, or have you ever heard that I want a rider? Like, I think a rider is not a little bit ratchet. Like, like there's a lot of th things that doesn't make this, like, a race thing. Like, it, it, some dudes like wild women black or white there are white women that are ratchet there are mexicans that are ratchet like every race can ratchet it is a hood mentality it is a wild mentality it's not necessarily a race mentality so again your point is really you're just making everything that he says and does about his race which would be racist Dad, like he always wanted to fuck like all the time i'm just like can we just have a conversation it was just like obviously a lot of guys want to fuck and a lot of guys think that you know physical touch is their love language when they really only want to fuck but i just feel like when you're a white man and a black woman and you want to have sex that much you can't just ignore the historical context of situations and how black female bodies have been sexualized over centuries with, you know, the whole Jezebel stereotype. And so I've watched your other videos and you've talked about having a lot of sex with the other dudes that you date all the time. And you're going to tell me that you can have sex with a black guy all the time. Okay. But me as a white guy, if I'm seeing you and I'm talking to you or I'm dating you, I can't have sex with you every day or all the time because I'm white and you're black and white people or some white people own slaves 150, 160, 200, 300, 400 years ago. That's racist. Like, that's racist. You were never a slave. I was never a slave owner. Only 5% of the population own slaves, and black people and Indians own slaves as well. So, what you're saying is just racist. Like, that's just all it is. Like, you're, you just keep putting things on this white dude and being racist. I love this argument. If you're a racist, you're not going to be dating another race. You're not going to have sex with another race. Like, you're not. Like, what you don't understand about the context of the slave owner and the black woman is A, the black woman got something out of it, and B, the white man, like, they weren't necessarily racist. It, it was labor. It was a product. It was a property. It was, like, it, it wasn't necessarily about race. And, again, my son's mixed. Like, you're, you're, you're full of shit is what it comes down to. Like, you can be black and be racist. You've been racist this entire video. The whole video, all you've done is be racist. So, to say that you can... Like, so what you're saying is white people can never not be racist. Like, that's just, that's just the thing. Just racist all the time. That's what you're saying. Like, you're saying that white people's first sin is racism. And they need to repent or they can't repent. Which is pretty much for making race or religion right that's been established and it's so funny because like when i was younger and i moved to the suburbs my family was always joking about the fact that i would bring home a white boy and i think for that reason i was just so against dating outside of my race i specifically told myself that i would not lose my virginity even though i had plenty of times when i could in high school to a white boy because i just didn't want to say that i lost my virginity to a white boy the first time around so let me get this straight so your family picked on you for being white because you weren't black enough and because of you getting teased and being told that you were trying to be white, you decided that you weren't going to lose your virginity to a white person. That's racist. Okay. Being ashamed to date a white person. And then you date a white person. And then you make a video about trashing white people and all that, that they were the monster in it. Maybe the fact of it, family's racist, you're racist, and that the way you guys look at white people is maybe a problem. Maybe it's not the fact that they fetishize black women or black women are a fetish. Maybe it's the way that you and your family think about black 
people and white people together. That's my thoughts, guys. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Do me a favor. Hit this subscribe button. Hit the bell. Get all my notifications. Drop me a like or a dislike. Like I said, tell me what you think. Share this video. Tell you guys can help support the channel. Thank you, guys. Stay savage.